analytics for enterprise users. What's the big gate in your view? I mean, it's obviously growing. We mm -hmm. saw this show was probably 800, 900 last year. It's, you know, I think Mike said 1,400 this year. and Probably, you know, growing at the pace of the community. But what do, what do you see as the gate? Is it skill sets around data scientists? Is it the maturity of the technology? Is it the ecosystem? You know, all of the above. T can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, I think it's definitely it's a combination of things. Um, I, I think there are surveys out there, excuse me, that you can take a look. And what they say is that a lot of enterprises getting stuck either on the skill set that they need to have to you know, roll out this uh, Hadoop deployments or on the connectivity with their existing investments and ecosystem tools. And this is something that Astra can really help because we can mitigate some of the skills that are needed. We can move some of the skills that need more to analysts than developers. And we can also help connect MapReduce to ecosystem tools. But it's definitely, I think, a combination of ecosystem connectivity and skill set. I mean, if you think about it, you know, how they, you know, place like, you know, Facebook and, and Yahoo and, and places like that, um, how did they become successful with Hadoop? And, you know, Google, which is really where MapReduce started, right? How is Google successful with the MapReduce technology? They have very smart engineers that can be an analyst, a developer, and a system administrator all at once, right? And that's a traditional model of how you make a Hadoop deployment successful. You hire people that can do all three at one. They can figure out what's the business problem, what it means in terms of analytics. They can code up the analytics in code, and they can deploy the code and they can run it. They can do what we, you know, what is called that end, end jobs. So this model is clearly unsustainable for enterprises. You know, if you Google and you're right next to Stanford and you hire all those PhDs, that's great. If not, you know, tough luck. So I think you will see the market evolving towards a place where Hadoop will have some specific use cases that it's going to be extremely successful on. But then you have other products like Aster and others that can serve other use cases that Hadoop cannot 